This is my milking procedure. The first thing I do is take my broom and I sweep out this area, which I can't do holding the phone, so I need to pause it and then I'll show you what it looks like all clean. All right, that's better. Nice and clean. Now, our girls all get some feed whenever they come in to get milked. This one gets a little bit more than the other one. In here, anyways, because we feed the other animals while the first one is in here. So she gets a little bit more than the other one because she gets some outside. All right, so <clears throat> on this cart is my milker. This is what we use. It's a De Laval pail with a new pulse claw. That goes over here. And here's our new pulse vacuum pump, or excuse me, easy all new pulse. And this goes in here. So that hose goes in there, and this hose goes in this spot here. Okay, so now that's ready. Here's my milk collection pail in my bucket that I used to clean it. The first thing I do is to sanitize my machine. We don't have a sink in here yet. This is going to be our milk room, but it's not finished yet. <laughs> so here's my wash rag in that bucket, and this bucket is going to get... Um, Clorox in it to sanitize my machine. This bucket is going to get some um, palm olive dish soap and a splash of vinegar in that. So this is just one cup of Clorox in there to sanitize my machine. So that one has very hot Clorox water in it. I'm just going to put some warm water in here. This is for cleaning off the teats. And then I'll go over and sanitize. All right, so we'll just plug the vacuum pump in here. Raise it up and down a few times. Okay, so it's all pulled across. Now, this is going to be a little hard for me to do this holding the phone, but I'm going to pour this over the claw. I'm going to pour it first this direction, and then I'm going to rotate it around like such, and pour out of this side so that this edge also gets sanitized. I try to get <clears throat> excuse me, as much of the water droplets as I can out of the pail. I can taste the Clorox. I also rinse it with water. So I'm going to stick this in here and get the lid also sanitized. Okay. I'm going to go turn off my vacuum pump. So now this is just plain kind of lukewarm tap water. Because like I said, 
I can taste the Clorox in it. I want my machine clean, but I don't want my milk to taste like Clorox. So I run water through it too. All right, the water's all through it. I poured it back in this bucket. Now, I only know about this claw, and I know that these are not made to be cleaned the way that we clean them. Um, and I'll show you why. Because between, this is the shell, this is called a shell, and this is the inflation. Between the shell and the inflation, water gets in there. So now I'm gonna go through, and I'm gonna pull these down like that on each of these and get the water out and then there is water in here too so I'll unscrew this and pour the water out if water is in here and in here it doesn't work correctly so if you have this machine and you clean similar to me and you're having problems with your machine check this there's probably water in there or in here and you can drain that out and hopefully that would help you all right, so we're ready to go get the cow. Let me put this bucket down. So if she smells this <clears throat> bucket of feed, she'll probably stop. Okay, so we're going to go grab Honey. She's ready. She's been crying. I don't know if you could hear her on the video or not. So this is Honey. She's a Jersey cross with, we think, uh, a Swiss. And I'll just stop here and plug the vacuum pump in. They don't like to walk past it running or walk over the cord. All right, I'm just going to chain her in. I need two hands. All right. So here's my cloth that I put in a bucket with the dish soap and the vinegar. I'm just going to wipe each of her four teats here. I like to check the bottoms, just check to make sure that I got everything. And then I like to strip four times. I like to get each of them squirted out five times. Now, I'll go over here to my cart and I'll grab a paper towel. These are actually, these are actually dairy towels. So I wipe off each teat and then I follow up with my teat dip here. Again, on each of our quarters. Let it sit for a bit and then another clean towel. Dry them off. Our tea dip is a mixture of Dawn dish soap, a teeny bit of Clorox, and something I can't remember. <laughs> I'll tell you in the comments. All right. Now I'm ready to put the milker on. I'm not talented enough to do that holding the phone. Okay, so she is hooked up. I have only ever milked with a pale milker. So I have no idea what it's like to do other ways. I would not want to hand milk. That's not for me. This keeps it nice and clean. I like this. So another great benefit to us using a milking machine instead of hand milking is we don't just have cows to milk. We have goats to feed, other cattle to feed, sheep to feed, pigs to feed. So while the machine is doing its thing, 
I can go out and take care of something else and still have a little bit of time till she's done. So that's another great benefit. You can multitask. Alright, she is done. So I turn, this shuts off the vacuum to the line. Ah, and then just pull that off. She is done. Okay, so now what we do is post strip. I want to get like three this time. And then we do post dip. It's the same it's the same stuff I couldn't remember all that was in it earlier. I will let you know what this is. Okay. And then I don't wipe it this time. Just let it sit.